So here we are on the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur in front of Batu Caves. Look at that. If you actually watched our previous video, we are here in Kuala Lumpur and we actually explored the city. In this video, we decided to go a little bit out of the city and while doing our research, we came upon this place known as the Batu Caves. I'm sure a lot of you recognize... Whoa. Oh, there's so many pigeons. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you recognize just these rainbow stairs from Instagram. And although the staircase is popular, we actually want to go and see the caves at the very, very top. But we have to climb 272 stairs to actually get there. Apparently the caves inside are about 4 million years old. And if you know us, oh my gosh, there's a lot of pigeons. <laughs> we, we like caves, but we don't explore them often because of the light that's inside them. What we also want to do is try and find a Ramli burger. Wow, because in our previous episode, we couldn't find one. So after we've explored the caves, we're going to go back into the city and see if we can try a popular Ramli burger that you can find here in Kuala Lumpur. So this statue right over here is the statue of Lord Murugan, which is actually the Hindu statue of war and victory. I mean, check how teeny tiny I am compared to it. It is 42.7 meters high and apparently the tallest statue of Lord Murugan in the world. It's pretty high. <laughs> If you have not noticed behind us or around us, we actually have quite a bit of monkeys. So going up these stairs, the 272 stairs, we're actually going to face some monkeys, which is not one of our favorite animals. Oh no, if you know me by now, I absolutely hate monkeys. As cute as they are, they always try and like steal stuff away from you and I get really anxious around them. There's one already <laughs> and then there's another one. And there's been quite a few on this temple over here. So I think as we walk up, we're going to start capturing or like getting more of them. Hopefully they're friendly monkeys. <gasps> That's just a baby, don't worry. <laughs> you can't say that. I think it's a big one when you do that. Oh no, I get so anxious with these monkeys. Okay, 272 stairs. This is definitely going to be a fitness challenge. I read online that the stairs have actually been painted rainbow colors in recent years just to represent the diversity and culture that's within Malaysia. But I think that's what actually makes this place so popular because these colorful stairs really make a great backdrop for those Instagram photos. I think we have now only walked a few stairs and so far no monkeys. Oh my gosh, oh, talking of one chick. Right there's one on like every single pillar. Oh goodness. Check, there's another guy over there. Yeah, we have some monkeys, quite an entire family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they are actually really, really cute. But I just know that they come and steal stuff from you because so many people feed them that they think they can just come and take your bag because it's food. So I'm very nervous walking around this camera because they probably think that it's food. <laughs> We've also even like tightened the straps and put our straps in our bags into knots so that they don't grab the bag and try and open it. You know, the staircases are just changing color and it's actually very very beautiful. So the reason why this temple is actually a Hindu temple is because there used to be inhabitants very long time ago busy living in this cave but then it was actually lost you know nobody knew about it up until the late 1900s when Indian workers came to Malaysia to work on the railway lines and discovered this cave. They then decided in order to make a temple here and devote it to the Lord Murugan. But it is huge and I think once we get inside, which is known as the cathedral part of the cave, it's going to be insanely big inside there. I heard that the cave is actually more impressive than these staircases. I'm already so impressed by the cave. I mean like, you can see all the stalactite formations and we're not even in the cave. It's massive. Uh, you can see the stalactites busy hanging all the way down there. I mean stalactites only form over thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And that's why it's predicted that these caves are 400 million years old. Woo! I'm actually really tired. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think we're only halfway. I'm struggling to talk. I'm so tired. And we're not halfway. <laughs> we're not even higher than the statue yet. <laughs> it's crazy. This is crazy. But you're getting such a beautiful view over here already. Yeah, you can see the city in the distance down there. Let's, Let's carry continue. On. These stairs are actually quite steep. We're definitely going to feel our legs after this. They're going to be like jelly. <laughs> so 
our last staircase. I made it! <laughs> I feel like we're higher than the buildings in Kuala Lumpur down there. Oh, wow, that's high. I think there's actually a speaker playing with some music in here. I think it's one of the temple's music playing. But here we are, busy entering the cave. Hey, there's some water. You're probably going to need some after climbing those stairs. But my word, look at this. This is incredible. This is the tallest cave I think I've ever seen. It's apparently a hundred meters high, but it looks like it's going on forever. This whole cave from the bottom all the way up to the top is a hundred meters. It is huge. And normally the caves are dark when you go inside that they need all this artificial lighting to actually see around you. But this one there has natural light coming through, which is just so amazing. Like there you can see some natural light coming through. There's another one. We obviously have the massive entrance over here. At the back, there seems like there's another entire opening, which we're going to go look at now. There's another opening over there. So you don't really need any sort of light in here. Can you actually believe that these caves were here 400 million years ago? This is insane. Oh, I'm feeling water dropping on my head. Can you? <laughs> I haven't gotten one yet, but it's probably all from the static tides. Oh, I can actually see the water dropping. Here's one right here. Wow, it's actually like dropping on my hand. I'm trying to catch a few. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Probably not. <laughs> oh, there, it just landed on me. Did you feel it? Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to open my mouth. You never know if it's back pee. So you can actually see that people come here to this temple to actually workshop. So it's a working temple and people are busy praying at the moment. But I love how colorful these temples are. It's really so, so beautiful. Let's go see what's up these stairs. Yeah, let's go see. More stairs to climb. Definitely don't need a gym workout today. Just be careful, he has water dripping. I don't know if it's been raining or if this comes from the mountains. Let's go through it quickly. <laughs> so at the top of this cave, or at the top of the stairs should I say, there's one temple down there. And then there's a second temple over here which also seems like people are busy worshipping over there. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two temples, but it's really beautiful to look at. You can even see that on the top of these like temples and shrines, that there's lots of like Hindu mythology being depicted. It's actually really pretty just because of how colorful it is. I thought he was coming for me. <laughs> Off to go and taste the Ramley burger. Oh, nice aircon, hey? Yeah, much needed. <laughs> I don't know. Whoops, we're stuck. I think we're stuck in the train. super hungry so let's go and find that Ramley burger so look what we have right here we actually have a diagonal crossing oh my gosh <laughs> this is crazy it, it has become nightfall and we're looking for our Ramley burger but we thought we had to cross diagonally oh goodness how does this work now <laughs> I don't know cross cross okay. oh my goodness everyone's just walking the streets look at this it's just wild you just basically walk wherever you want to walk Reminds me of that crossroad in Japan. Yeah, it's crazy. And, <laughs> and, the, and then we crossed. <laughs> the billboards also remind me of like New York City. Yeah, check over here. Kind of looks like a Times Square. So cool. It's so cool. <laughs> but I guess we're going to have to cross again so that we can go to our Ramley Burger and finally taste this thing. That was fun just to cross just for the sake of it. Yeah, we're going to do it one more time for the hell of it. Here we go again. I think we just got to walk. <laughs> Hey, you don't record me! <laughs> Look at this, everyone's crossing diagonally. And that side, and we just gotta cross this side because you wanna get here to the McDonald's. Because our Ramley Burger's that way. How cool is that? <laughs> right here, in front of 
one of the McDonald's. Wild, I tell you. Wild. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so they said they were going to open at 8 o'clock. It is now 8.30. Um, they should be here somewhere. Oh my gosh, this place is still closed. I don't think there it is, right over there. I don't think we're going to win at this. Oh my gosh. Maybe the one at the bottom is open. Yeah, let's go try. We found three last time, so I think we're just going to have to try all three places. I can't believe it's such a mission to find a Ramley burger and it's such a popular burger to have here. Yeah? And here we are busy struggling. This is ridiculous. If we don't taste it tonight, we're not going to taste it because we're leaving to Penang tomorrow. So, tonight is the last night. I don't think this one's open either. I don't oh. know what we're going to do. you got to be kidding me. Here's another stand that we found. This one's also closed. It's closed. Okay, we have one more option. Let's hope that it's open. Holding thumbs. Cross fingers. Yeah, you can actually see it. It says Ramley. Oh well. One more. Let's go. One more. This place is mad. This place is just as crazy as it was the last time. <sighs> Goodness me. It's even busier actually when the sun goes down. So everyone comes out to enjoy the food here. Please be open. Please be open. I think it's open. open. Is that the store? Yep. Are you sure? Uh, I think so. <laughs> we might have found it. I hope it's good and worth this effort and all these days of waiting for it. I just hope they have the true Ramley burger. There it is, they're open. Hello, how are you? Hey, hey. Good. Hi. I heard you have good Ramley burgers. Ramley burgers. Do you have Ramley burger? Yeah, all Ramley yeah? burgers. Yes! Oh, yes, thank you. We found it. All the places are closed. Close? Yeah, you're the only place that's open. Monday, man. Monday. Monday. Uh, what days are you open? Monday to? I'm Monday to Saturday. Monday to Saturday, okay. So today is Monday and that's why we failed in our previous mission. <laughs> All closed on Sundays. So what type of Ramley burgers do you have? Chicken or beef? What is the best? Beef. Is beef the best? Yeah. You know what, let's try one chicken and one beef. And one beef, that eh? That's good, yeah. One chicken, one beef. Yes, yes please. How much is a Ramley burger? You want to get it with egg, with cheese? Um, is it good with egg and cheese? That's a traditional way to eat it. For, for better, better it's taste. Better taste? Okay, yeah. I'm going to go with your options. So if you say it tastes better, I'll have everything that you think is good. Are you making it right now, eh? Yeah, yeah. So I've seen they've actually put the egg down first and then they start making the burger on top of the egg. What sauce is that? Like a seasoning. Seasoning. seasoning sauce, eh? Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Think that is a special marinade. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good and smells better. I mean we've been searching far and wide for this burger, so it better be good. <laughs> you want you want to get it with cheese? Yes, yes, with cheese, please. So there it is, a simple, flapping the egg over the patty and then he's going to put it on top of a bun. Yes. And what sauce is he putting there? Mayonnaise? Uh, mayonnaise, chili sauce and uh, this one is a uh, black pepper sauce. Black apple sauce. Black pepper. Black pepper, black pepper sauce. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Oh, so well, here is the famous Ramli burger that we get to finally try here in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. So I have got the beef Ramley burger. Daniel has the chicken. Oh my goodness, but look at that. You can just see the cheese oozing out of that burger. That looks like it's gonna be the best burger I ever taste. <laughs> oh, that's dripping down my face. Okay, let me taste this thing. Was yours a chicken or a beef? Mine was a beef. Was yours the beef one? So mine's the chicken. So mine's only got egg in, they've put no cheese in it at all. If you look at it, you can basically see that egg that is wrapped up all in a patty. Like there you can see the patty. So let's give the chicken one a try. Mmm. 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 Wow. That Ramley burger is super, super tasty. The egg is not overpowering at all. The patty is really good, but the sauce is just make it. Oh, so yummy. I taste the egg, I taste the patty, I taste the cheese. The sauce is super, super good in here. Like this is definitely giving McDonald's a run for its money, eh? <laughs> Give my beef one a try. Okay, which I don't even know. <laughs> Just try it. Mmm, wow. 
ใจเสร็จเลยไหมมันมีแทนจีนี่ดองแต่ว่าเลียนชวนจะแฮนด์ลบัสเบอร์กันเสียทอดนั่นสุดสุดเลย Your mouth is full of sauce. Is it full of sauce? Yeah, it's full of sauce. I think mine's a s o Can you clean mine, please? Yours is fine. Is mine fine? Mm -hmm. I feel like I got some here. Thank you. <laughs> the chicken one's good, but, but I much beef. prefer the beef. Yeah. Wow, the beef is amazing. That means we have finally successfully completed our mission after two nights of searching, right? But we can finally say that we have tasted the Ramy burger. Yeah. And it is seriously good. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't want to come back to Kuala Lumpur just to taste this. But and it was worth the wait. Yeah, but tomorrow we're going to be heading towards Penang, Georgetown. It's going to be super exciting. We're going to be taking a bus there. So I guess we'll see you guys then in the next video. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Cheers. That is so yummy though. It looks super saucy. Wow. Look at all of that. There you go. Thank you. So all together for two Cokes and two burgers, it was only 19 ringgit. Six bucks a burger. Pretty cheap. A burger boss. That's the place.